So if y'all talk about how I look right now, we're going to have problems, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The last vlog, right, I was cleaning out my closet and I was going through it because I was like, oh my gosh, how do I declutter? But my closet is finally organized, guys. Like, you guys would be proud of me. And a lot of the items that I got rid of, I gave a lot of it to uh, Salvation Army. I gave some to friends. And I'm also putting a lot of pieces in my Poshmark closet. You can follow me on Poshmark if you do have the app. If not, you can download it. It's free and you can make a closet and you can sell stuff. Anything fashion um, if you want to. But to find me on Poshmark, just type in It's Missy Lynn and my closet will pop up. So a lot of the like fashionable items, things that I know people could use or like would want for like events or like going out and party. Um just like a night out or something yeah i'm putting it in my poshmark closet because i know sometimes i like i always try to find dope outfits like to go out and stuff like that and if you go in the store sometimes it's like boo but y'all like i'm actually proud of myself for organizing i still have like some color coordinating to do but yeah i'm organized guys all my purses shoes i have a few pairs of shoes out um a few tank tops some baskets to hold like my workout clothes um my jackets which these fur jackets are about to go upstairs so yeah so that's not going to be there um i have like a lot of my long pieces that like drag down to the floor on this side and i try my best to like color coordinate so I have all the whites, the blush pink, going into the tan. Uh, I don't know how this got here, this purple. <laughs> um, but yeah, the yellow, the golds, pinks, reds, um, blacks. And then back here are my kimonos and my robes. And then up here are my handbags, like clutches and stuff. And then I have some boxes up here. And then up here I have like my designer boxes for these purses. Okay, so this dress right here, this will be one of the dresses in uh, my closet. It's a size small and if you are a four or four through six, then you'll be able to fit this. Um, I actually have the extra small right here because the small was too big for me so yeah i had to get another one i actually wore this dress uh, when i went to howard's homecoming and it is y'all it's bomb.com it has like this really deep v cut right here and it sits like really nice on the breast area so if you're a little bit more curvier than me then yeah you would definitely enjoy this dress this dress will also be in my closet it is from fashion nova Y'all, it's so nice and fits so well. So what happens, I order a size that I think will fit me and then it ends up being too big. But it is a bandage dress and the black band here definitely helps with like giving the illusion that you have a cinched in waist. Yeah, it's so pretty. And you know, springtime is around the corner. So yeah, so goes like that. Okay, so this bedazzled jumpsuit from the Carly Bible Collection and Misguided will definitely be on my uh, Poshmark closet. It's a size 4, but it fits like a 2. Now, the thing is, uh, for New Year's, I had ordered um, a size 2, which basically fits like a 0. And I had to squeeze my behind in that. Um, and then this one came, the correct size came after, and it was little too late so i'm gonna let this go but I okay got so this is another dress that's going in the closet which is a really cute dress and i'm mad that it's too big for me but it has ruffles all the way down so it's a spandex material um so you know if you curve if you're curvaceous then you can definitely look right and look tight in this dress again i'm too straight so i have no curves but it's really cute um because you have like little um, holes for like your arms to go in on this side. So this is like a like a really nice 
going out to brunch, if you're going to a baby shower or like a daytime wedding, this would be a really, really nice dress. Okay, so this is another outfit that's going in the closet. Super cute. It's a two-piece blush set. You have a bodycon skirt that fits like a glove. And then you have the crop top with a built-in choker and a low cut V. It looks really, really good on. I wore it in Vegas. And I don't wish to be photographed in it again, so. Okay, guys, so this is another two-piece set that's going in the closet. It is a, like, royal blue bralette with, like, lace. And the good thing about it is that you don't have to do, like, nipple covers because there's a nude mesh piece underneath the blue flowers. And then you have this bodycon skirt with, like, the little mermaid type of thing going on down here. I don't know what it's called. Um, the top is a small and the bottom is an extra small, but if you are a size small, you can fit it. Trust me. Um, I just don't see myself wearing it. I've been having it since 2000, what, 16? And I haven't worn it yet, so time to let it go. If the little bralette is some, I mean, I thought, I thought it would like be really cute with like a white blazer over it. Um, but I also have this body, uh, little bodysuit right here that you can wear. And this one is bigger than just like a regular small. I would say this fits more like a medium on me, but I love this so much. Like this is where the breasts go. It's covered. Then you have like all of this, um, detail and this mesh all throughout. So you could pair it either way. You could do it like this, or you could do it with the bralette. So I'm just gonna let it go as a bundle because, I mean, you might have somebody who's big at the bottom, small at the top, or you might have somebody that's, you know, working with something up here and down here. So I'm gonna just leave it up to y'all. Okay, so next is this all-in-one jumper. And it's from Express, has a zipper all the way down, it crisscrosses in the back, and it's like a suede material. Um, it fits really well, the only thing it stretches out after a while. So um, I would say if you're like a true size 2 to even a 6, if you're small chested, then yeah, this may work for you. I also have this dress that I didn't get a chance to wear. Um, it's a bandage dress from Marciano. And it's like kind of ribbed right here. Well, all the way down it's ribbed. I don't know if you can see it. And then it crisscrosses like in the cleavage area. Just really form-fitting. Um, it's an extra small. So if you're like a zero to size one, then this may be something that... You enjoy in the closet. Okay, and this is another dress from Marciano that I'm putting in the closet. It's an extra small, but it's like really form-fitting. And now that I'm starting to gain a little weight, it's like a little too snug for me. So I'm going to let it go. So this is another piece that I'm putting in the closet. It's a romper and shorts. And right up in here, it's... A choker, built-in choker. So yeah, Ward wants. Gotta let it go. So I'm not sure if you guys actually have been like on the Poshmark site, but it's a super like cool site where you can go and create a closet. I'll put a link down beneath this uh, description box, and you can click the link and you can create your own um, closet. Just be sure if you do create a closet because it is free. Um, tag your closet name in the comment section. That way, you know, we can all go browse each other's closet and see what you guys are selling and stuff like that. But you can do like handbags, belts, hats, any, anything that's fashion, you can put it on there. And, um, you can also find brands like Nike, Adidas, Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. Like, I'm actually about to order a Gucci belt that I've been looking for forever from that site. So this is how the Poshmark app looks. And so whenever you click on it, it actually reminds me of like Instagram. So when you log on, you see like fresh closets, basically a timeline, brands that I follow, and then you can follow more people. 
so that's the feed right there and then if you want to shop and search people um, you just click the little shop tab and then you can get styled you can have different brands Louis Vuitton Chanel Gucci Mac Nike pink um, so basically all of these brands people sell next is the sell tab and basically this is you know how you can take pictures of different things like if I wanted to sell a pair of shoes I could just take the photo and then right here is the news feed so this is my closet and this is how yours would look too if you did create a closet um, it's fairly simple it's just like uploading Instagram photos these are basically all of the items that I've listed so far but um, I'm going to be adding more so let me know what you guys want to see in my closet as well because I have everything from hats to shoes to dresses to pants the jackets all of that but yeah you know pretty easy peasy but guys I am tired I'm about to go to sleep don't forget to download the app by clicking the link um, beneath this video It's totally free and share your closet name don't forget because I want to shop y'all y'all closet <laughs> <laughs> right. Boom! What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? Missy Lindy. Hey! What's up, guys? I am super excited to come on camera this morning because I have some excite. Well, I found out some exciting news and I'm like super stoked. I am leaving for Paris in the morning. Mark Jacobs Beauty reached out to me and they are bringing me to Paris. I'm going to an event and y'all, like, I was just like literally this close from like not even really reading the email because like I was playing on my phone about to fall asleep and I was like on social media or whatever I clicked on my email and I was just scrolling and then I saw like you're invited too sometimes I open it right away um, other times I don't I'll open it like the next morning or whatever but when I seen Mark Jacobs I was like okay let me click on it and so I thought it was gonna be like an LA event y'all I'm going to freaking Petty. Petty. Ooh, wee, wee. Yes. Like, y'all don't even understand. Like, Paris is my dream place. Like, Paris has been, like, my dream place, y'all. Like, I kid you not. Because, like, when I was younger and, like, I dreamt about being married, getting engaged, I always said, like, I would love to be proposed to, like, in Paris or something like that. You know, just, like, dreaming. I want to go visit. I want to tour the world with my partner. And even though I'm not going with a partner, I'm still going to Paris. Bitch, I don't care. I, you know what? Pack my bags. I, I'll go without a bag. I'll buy everything there. I'll go with my toothbrush and my drawers. That's, that's just how I'm feeling. I actually get to bring someone with me. And I can't wait to show you guys who I'm bringing because, like, yo... Is about to be lit like we i'm going to freaking paris like let me tell you how good god is and like how i feel like god just hears me like between god my brothers my father like so many doors have opened up for me so many doors are continuing to open and even whenever i start doubting myself like things just happen like i pray about it you know, I speak positivity into existence. Like, that's one thing I never speak negative because I feel like the energy that you put out, that's that's like the that's what you're going to receive. So, like, I always try to be a very, like, positive person. Think positive. Like, produce positive results. And, like, bruh, I'm going to Paris. Like, I just was talking about how I wanted to kind of, like, start incorporating more travel vlogs and uh, doing, like, different things on my channel on both of my channels just to like be you know like be creative bring some different content and like literally I get an email day before yesterday well actually it was yesterday morning because it was two o'clock and I leave in the morning like what okay God I see you and you see me that's that's what I'm talking about but right now I'm actually packing let me show you guys this is just like clothes that I'm gonna throw on if I you know go touring and whatever um I have this like oversized sweatshirt and I'm trying to decide if I want to do black pants with it 
but I feel like I should do the tan being that I have a tan hat and maybe do like black boots instead but I'm gonna have my black boots with me anyway so I can always switch it up and then I have this like casual kind of semi-casual outfit you know if we want to go tour but then like go eat out and shopping and stuff so it's just like an oversized um jacket with a hoodie and then i have another fur light fur white shirt black jeans black boots my belt and then right here i have another casual outfit um fur bodysuit beanie jeans and then i have these tan boots but i'm also going to bring um some flat boots i'm going to actually run out to see if i can find some brown flat boots or some brown tennis one of the two have that i'm trying to decide if i want to bring this oversized um hoodie dress you know just to throw on and then another casual outfit is my obey sweatshirt my white jeans my pink um champion jacket and my um louis vuitton flat boots and then i have like some nightlife outfits i have this pantsuit red pantsuit black lace bodysuit my red bottoms my purse and then i have like a really cute pea coat um over here that like ties up let's see if i can show you guys so yeah like that and then i have another outfit but it's like a casual sleigh outfit so i have like some pleather joggers plain white t-shirt my yellow fur jacket and then my um blue boots and then i'm gonna go to forever 21 to see if i can find something to match these boots as far as handbag but i have this one right here and then of course my big sunglasses and then i have this pink jacket from uh, house of cb and this skirt but of course they don't go together as far as color wise but i could do like a variation of pink so I'm, I'm gonna try to play with this outfit to see if i even want to bring it so i have that um i have just some regular tank top body suits it is kind of cold out there but um of course layering so i have like my gloves i have scarves um i have another big pea coat here a long a uh, long black pea coat so i'm gonna have to have a suitcase just for my jackets and then i have more stuff over here that i'm trying to sort through and then my suitcase but yeah i think i'm gonna put like the jeans the t-shirts sleepwear and stuff like that in this um suitcase and then i have another suitcase right here that i'm gonna probably just put the fur coats so yeah so um after i pack i need to run to a few stores i'm gonna go try to find me a tan beanie I need to get me another umbrella because it is raining out there. Um, actually, I'm going to go to my office right now to see if I have my converter because, you know, I'm going to need converters when plugging things up over there. Um, and I bought like two or three the last times. Um, the last time I've been to London, the, well, the past few times I've been to London, I bought converters. I need to wash my hair and braid it and then wash a few of my wigs because... Um, it's raining over there, so my hair is about to be a big puffball, so I'm just going to bring my units. Alright guys, so I'm on my way to Grapevine Mills Mall. Grape Mills? Grapevine Mills Mall. Um, and I need to run to Forever 21, Zoomies, um, Windsor, and perhaps H&M. I need to see if I can find some last minute winter gear um only because i know the stores are transitioning from fall i mean from winter to spring um so hopefully fingers crossed there are some pieces still available um that would make my life so much easier i don't need a lot i just need like maybe some long sleeve shirts um turtlenecks if possible some tights and uh a beanie also, oh shoot speaking of so okay tips when you're traveling abroad um whether you're you know going on cruises or you're going like international like you know london or um paris or whatever 
make sure that your bank and your cell phone provider knows that you're traveling those things because one you don't want those roaming charges and you want your cell phone to work off of their towers um so yeah so with the cell phone they can put a note that you'll be traveling for x amount of time and then for your bank you want to make sure that your bank knows that you're traveling because you want to avoid any mishaps happening with your debit card um trying to take money out or paying for things because if you don't notify them that you're traveling then it can basically look like fraud so they'll totally shut down your card or whatever sometimes they'll send text messages to see if it's really you um but you know if the service is pretty bad um yeah, if the service is pretty bad in the area, uh, just based on your connection, then they will not. Ooh, yeah, I'm the right way. Woohoo! Um, if your service isn't working properly, then of course you won't get the alerts. And so, if you don't re like reply within a timely manner, then they'll assume that somebody stole your card. It has happened to me just traveling to New York, traveling to LA. Um, I never really had issues with my bank when I went to London because I did notify them, but I've seen it happen. Um, so yeah, so I need to call them really fast and then, um, and then I'm gonna run into the mall and try to find these pieces. Thanks for calling me, Mr. Eminem. Jeff, how can I assist you? Hi, um, I'm calling to add a travel notification um, on my account. Verified. So when are you leaving and when are you returning? Um, I will be leaving tomorrow, which is the 28th. Um, so actually, if you can start it on the 29th, um, because I'm leaving like tomorrow night, so um, I won't be... Don't start on the 1st. No, it's the 28th. Oh, duh, sorry. This year. Yeah, this year, <laughs> 28 days. Um, yeah, the first, and I won't be returning until March 7th. Okay, and then also, um, can you tell me what my uh, my spending limit is daily, so I can make sure. Okay, um, yeah, that should be fine. And then also, um, another question: If I use my debit card out there, um, and because I'm going to Paris, France, if you want to put that in the, in the notes. Um, if I if I swipe my debit card, then you guys automatically do like the conversion, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and search you. Man. All right. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Oh, I need to call my dad. It's his birthday today. So my daddy, um, the one who passed away, his birthday was yesterday. Um, and my dad, my stepfather, his birthday is today. So I need to give him a call. Um. To wish him happy birthday before I forget. Hello. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Yeah. You was dancing. Thank you, baby. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Thank you, hey, I'm a house party you right quick, okay? Alright. All right. So my dad and my sister and I, we have this app called House Party. And it's so cool, y'all. Like y'all could get on like on it's kinda like FaceTime, but you can get on with like several people. It's so cool. So um I'ma call him real fast. Oh, and you can lock it. So like if your other friends are like in your phone or whatever and you don't want them to get on on in the house party you can book it hey hey what's up birthday boy go ahead sing to me happy sing birthday me. to ya happy birthday to ya happy <laughs> birthday look say hi to the vlog what's up what's up my people <laughs> On, 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 on February the 27th, a king was born. His name Oh, Lord. <laughs> a whole king, he said. What y'all up to? Yes, indeed. I'm over here. I'm over here. My Lord, I'm out playing cards. Oh. Yeah, we, are we playing uh, deuces. 
Oh, okay. You coming to my party this weekend? Huh? If what? You coming to my birthday party? No, um, I'm actually leaving for Paris tomorrow. For real? For, <laughs> to, I'm going to Paris. I just found out I was going to Paris. That's why I'm here at the mall trying to scramble last minute. Um, I got an email. I got an email yesterday morning, um, invite inviting me to go to a beauty event in Paris, France, for Marc Jacobs. So um, so yeah. So then I had to wait because I got it at like two o'clock in the morning. Then I had to wait until, you know, they were up. For me to reply to it and get things uh, situated so i got confirmed and everything last night and then um and so yeah so then tomorrow I'm, i fly out to go out there uh i'll be out there a week or almost a week um i want you and my mama uh y'all y'all's uh passports not uh not up to date huh Man, I wish I knew. Wait, so how is yours and not my mama? Huh? How is yours updating and not my mama? I don't know. Hey, that's your mama. Don't keep up with your mama. Mine ready to go. I'm ready. Man, I, see if I would have known you could have Okay, guys. So, I spoke to my dad, spoke to the bank. I need to call Verizon. But I just got my email, my travel um plans. And y'all, like, this trip is about to be lit okay so my guests and i were both flying uh first class um we get a thousand dollars to shop at the mark jacobs um um office or store uh we get you know free internet they're extending our trip and paying for our extra days as far as the hotel room um to be able to explore so that's that's super exciting. I'm excited because, you know, if we feel like, oh, like we want to travel to nearby cities or like other places, we could just hop on trains and go. We have enough time to do that. We have car service to and from. Meals, free Wi-Fi to be able to work on the plane. Yeah, this is lit. This is lit. <laughs> God, thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you so much. Like, oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, James, Terry, and Daddy for looking out. Ooh, this is awesome. Like, Marc Jacobs is a dope brand to be affiliated with. Like, yeah. Hey, and how can I be of assistance? Hi. Okay, so I am traveling abroad um, starting tomorrow. Uh, oh, how fun. Where are you going to? Paris, France. Oh, my goodness. The city of romance. I know, I know. I'm God, so excited. I I, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, But I wanted to find out about the travel pass. Sure. To see, Let's like... Let's look into that for you. Okay. So, if you need to see this travel pass... You can use your phone abroad, just like you're using it here. So you would have the same rate plan, same talk, same message, same beta rates, everything that you currently have right now, you would have here. If you decided to go route B, then you could do the monthly pricing. Um, and what that does is that gives you a couple of different options. For example, you can do a $40 rate plan. Um, and what that does is that gives you 100 minutes of talk, 100, 100 text messages sent, and 100 megabytes of data. You could do the $85 plan, which gives you 250 minutes, 250 sent messages, unlimited incoming messages, and 250 megabytes of data. Um, so either one of the two ways is good. So then if you were to do the $10 a day rate, mm -hmm. you'd be looking at $50 versus 85 the travel pass is going to be your best bet okay because it, yeah because the travel pass is only going to be 50 where to this 85 dollar one is going to run you 85 you're actually saving money if you go on the travel pass um, and then how is that activated like does it automatically turn on once i reach that area or put your phone in airplane mode mm -hmm. then when you arrive um in france uh go ahead and take 
Uh, at your first destination in France, because I, I don't know if you got a direct flight or if you got stops, but go ahead and take it off of airplane mode when you arrive um, in your at your destination, and then it'll automatically pick up the foreign tower, and it'll start charging you at the ten dollar a day rate. Okay, guys. So I saw this jacket, and I was like, "Ooh, yes!" I'm in Neiman Marcus. Last call says seventy percent off, right? Extra seventy percent off. But look at that price. Can y'all see that price? Uh, no, thank you. Nope. Sell section, please. Well, this is the sell section. <laughs> Let me go to uh, Forever 21. Let me stop playing with these people. Look at this $4,000. What? We have Forever 21. We have Agassi. We have HM. So let's stop here first and see what they have. Y'all, this is super cute. Can do that with like a waisted belt and some high boots that's really cute let's see if they even have my size i would want to get it in like a size two but of course oh i spoke too soon this is super cute So I just finished up at the mall. I'm here at Home Goods right now. I have to return a few things that um, did not work well in the different spaces throughout the house. Yeah, busy day, busy day. But guess what? It's time to slay and patty. Ooh wee wee. <laughs> A few subscribers actually pointed out in the comment section that uh, I need to be endorsed by Home Goods because I'm always in Home Goods, which is true. I travel around the DFW like every week at all the different locations just to see what new items they have. So y'all go to Instagram and tell Home Goods to check out your girl. Go leave a comment on their recent photo and, and let them know to check out Missy Lynn and the vlogs because uh, yeah, I'm always, I really am in, always in Home Goods. But I know they get a lot of traffic so they probably don't see my tags and stuff like that um, every time I tag them. So. All right guys, so I just made it to my nail tech. Um, he's actually gonna take me early, which is good. He hit me up and was like, hey, I have an earlier spot. I'm like, oh, this is perfect because that means I can get home um, at a decent time and then do what I have to do you know, before I leave and whatnot. Good thing I don't leave early in the morning. I actually leave um, in the, like kind of afternoon, but it's good because I'll be able to sleep on the flight the entire nine hours. Guys, this is Tom, my nail tech. He is awesome. Thank you so much for uh, getting me in early. Yeah, y'all look, see these fingers? I've been, you know, kind of letting my fingers breathe but he's about to work his magic. Got my heating pad. This is awesome. Mm, so warm. Uh,